and our watermelons in our raised garden beds outside. And we're gonna go outside today to plant this. For Father's Day, Mom and I got a special gift for Dad. Three planted bulbs, calla lilies, and cannas. So today we're gonna go ahead and follow the instructions and get started. Okay, I'm gonna read the instructions since it's a little bit easier for me to read it. Care instructions. Plants should be started indoors until the danger of frost has passed. It's Florida. We hardly get any frost. Cannas will start growing once the soil temperature is 65 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer. Carefully remove all pack packaging from planter. Place in a location where the plants will receive full sun in the morning and shade in the afternoon. We're gonna put it under a porch. It gets lots of morning sun and then the sun is on top of our house. Water sparingly, providing enough water to slightly moisten the growing mixture. In order to promote good root growth, keep the growing mixture moist, not wet. That means dad has to stop overwatering it. Do not overwater to avoid rotting, but do not allow the growing mixture to completely dry out. That's another reason why dad shouldn't overwater. Okay, that was the instructions. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. Careful, buddy. soil mixture for plants. We're outside now, as you can see, and one very crucial part of gardening is making sure there's holes on the bottom of the pot. Because if you can see here, Dad did not put the holes on the bottom of the pot, and he forgot and he just now realized that I didn't and this is what happens. The leaves start looking bad. So we're gonna make sure this one has holes on the bottom. There was a plug but we couldn't unplug it so dad had to get his drill gun and drill six holes in it and he left the mess. Do do do! <laughs> Let's add some water. Check us out on Facebook at Growing With Nathan for monthly updates on our can lilies and cannas. Till then, my name is Nathan and let's keep growing.